Okay, hey guys. I'm so sorry I didn't wave and say hello. Um, I was just wanting to let you know that I have been having some issues putting my hair up. So that's what I was doing the past few minutes and totally forgot to wave and say hello. But hello anyway, all my lovely freaks. All right, so I'm gonna go in and start with my eyebrows. Same usual eyebrow pencil that I always use. Still using the crappy camera, don't worry. We have a new video coming up soon, which is gonna show my new camera. And then one after that, where I have the new setup in my um, studio room. So you're gonna be able to see the two new ones that are gonna show my new setup. Um, it's not completely perfect, but you know, better than being in my kitchen or my dining room rather so as usual i'm going to go in and fill in my brows i like making them super dark and again they don't have to be super duper even right now i just want to make sure i get all this color in Again, it's so funny to watch me do my own makeup because I never, I don't realize that I do this at the time, but watching myself, I see it now and it's very funny that I do this. I can't believe I put my hand against my face whilst doing my eyebrows. I've never realized I did that until right now. Well, not right now. The past few videos that I've been watching I do my eyebrows on, I have noticed I do that quite a bit. I've never, I don't know why I do that. I guess it's more stability. Checking the color. Left one's a little dark, but I don't know if you can see that. And brush it out a little bit, make it more natural. And today we are gonna be doing um, some fun makeup as well. Um, again, we're gonna be doing color per usual. Now something that's a little different is I do have my hair down, whereas I usually have a headband and up in a bun. But I took a shower and most of the time when I do that, I get weird little crimps in my hair, little weird um, situations that are hard to fix. So I'm letting my hair down so it can dry. As usual, I'm going in with my concealer to do on my eyes, um, to do my eyebrows. Sorry, not my eyes yet. I got to fix them first. With my hair down, you can definitely see the blue and the pink. You can also tell that it's super faded and uh, grown in because you see the roots all nice and dark when they should be blue and pink. But that's okay. Just kind of giving you a visual representation of how I put the concealer on the brush, make it super duper flat and pointed so that these eyebrows can be on point as well. Just buffing out that harsh line. And I am trying to practice a little more with being um, not as messy. I, I'm still gonna be messy, it doesn't matter but I'm trying to work a little bit to show you how not to use your fingers and the oils on your fingers because I know that's bad. So I'm trying to use a brush more. So that's me buffing out the harsh lines with the brush. Don't come for me. I am trying to do this the correct way. Correct way.
So use my fingers. Don't come for me. I really like this blue. I'm gonna be doing a fire and ice hair soon. Um, I was trying to get up my watermelon hair that I did uh, not too long after I actually did this video here, but um, I forgot to do my reveal. And at this point, my hair has grown out and you can see my roots and so it doesn't look like it should when you first get it done. So sorry about that, <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, I'm gonna be recording the fire and ice video so y'all can see how I do my hair for that. And I'll make sure to do a reveal and all the good stuff for that one. Um, next year I will do my best to do another watermelon hair so we can put that up so people can see me doing that. I got a lot of compliments, a lot of people liked it. Um, I do hate myself a little bit internally for not doing the thing in the reveal. But um, y'all gotta be a little patient with me. Um, I'm not used to recording myself or putting, posting or um, putting myself in um, y'all's eyes. So um, this is all real new. So I'm gonna definitely do my best to get you the tutorials y'all deserve and see me do that craziness in the bathroom with hair dye and it's also messy and crazy so you know fun times so i'll be sure to get that hairstyle up a uh, hair dye tutorial up for y'all soon um i haven't done it yet i'm still in my watermelon hair that's fading out so uh, as soon as it's faded out and i can get that color out i'm gonna do my fire and ice hair and i'm super excited for that i think it's gonna be awesome for the fall leading into the winter because i don't really change my hair color um except for like every two months i used to do it monthly but that was expensive and time consuming and this hair dye i like is really good dye it stays in your hair so I hate to like just wash like take it out because it's still really good bright vibrant hair so don't want to do that so wait about two months let it fade out take the rest of it out and redo a hair so in fall it's gonna be fire and ice I'm super excited oh look at me dancing she needs to calm down do her makeup okay just gonna keep straightening these out. I've tried to get a little faster as far as doing my eyebrows on camera because I know how long it takes for me to do my eyebrows and I've talked to my editor slash husband about possibly just nixing my eyebrows out after, um, after I do at least one or two videos in my new studio setup. Um, so we're gonna nix this because it's pretty much the same thing every time. Um, and of course, all my other videos, you know, if you want to go, if you want to ask questions about how I do these, I can easily refer you to any of the other videos that I have me do my eyebrows in them. Um, basically, just because I feel like that's time consuming and I really don't feel like y'all wanna watch me do my eyebrows, which I do them same way almost every single time. Um, I don't feel like that's something something fun for y'all to continue to watch every time y'all come see me and so I'd rather y'all just see like the eye color um my face isn't gonna change much so we'll probably nix that eventually as well um unless I'm doing effects makeup mm, I don't really do anything different so um mostly all the time it's gonna be the eyeshadow and um decoration on my face and stuff like that that's gonna be most important for me to let y'all see that because I think that's gonna be the best thing for y'all to visually watch other than just constantly doing my eyebrows all the time which is not fun you see me doing my eyebrows so yeah we'll probably cut it once I'm in the new studio and I have a few videos out in the new studio in the studio it's not even the new studio it's my first studio and this is the first setup we're waiting on um we're waiting on some more furniture for me to actually do my personal setup i'm actually in the computer paperwork side of the studio um 
So I'm still working on, we're still working on getting me over to the other side of the room where I'll have my own completely done uh, makeup stand. And that's what I'm waiting for. Um, Cause I'm still managing to work out of my makeup bag. So still happy to do that, but it's fine. You know, we're on our way. Can't wait to get it set up. All right guys, so we're gonna be using Urban Decay Electric. Love them, love their colors. Super vibrant, super bright. All right guys, I have a red. Um, I got this in New York. I don't remember the brand name, I'm sorry. Um, you're gonna have that a lot from me. Um, I do apologize because uh, a lot of this makeup is older and um, because I'm a little Porito, I can't really afford expensive eyeshadows and stuff. So I just use what I have until it's out and I know that's not good because I know everything kind of like um, expires. But uh, I only do it with eyeshadow, honestly. I only keep eyeshadows for longer than they should have been kept, but it's fine. I haven't died yet, so I feel like we're still okay. And this is a pretty old, let's see. I got that my freshman year of high school. This is gonna show my age and I don't care. Um, So that was like, I don't know, over 10 years ago. <laughs> no, that can't break. Yeah, yeah, over 10 years ago. Um, so that red is over 10 years old, guys. So um, great pigmentation for 10 years. Um, again, I don't advise using old eyeshadow, but if you're a Perito like me, you gotta do what you do. And that is using old makeup. So I don't advise doing it. I don't encourage you doing it. I support you. <laughs> I support you and your poorness because I is poor. And um, can't afford all the things. So you know what? We're gonna put old, old eyeshadow on our faces and we're gonna be happy about it, okay? Okay, I'm using that blue. All right, just going in here and packing all that blue in, um, making it super duper vibrant per usual. Um, also my editor slash husband, has been telling me that I do need to um, possibly let my hair down and let y'all do a, have a full reveal with my hair down and actual decent clothes on. So I will be doing that as well, guys. I, I am doing my best to learn what, what the properness of doing all this is. So um, yeah, but I'm gonna take that same blue. I'm going underneath my eyeball. I kind of use this as like, it's not eyeliner. I don't use it as eyeliner. I use it for pigmentation um, because as soon as I put my eyeliner on, it allows that color to be way more dramatic. In other videos, I have stated that if you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. Um, you know, if you don't feel like you like the way you look with that under color, don't do it. Um, you don't have to look exactly like what I'm doing. Um, I'm just using this for inspiration for your own creativity to express yourself with color. So, you know, um, I just do this to show you what looks, what colors look good, what you can do and stuff like that. But I, I highly encourage you do what makes you feel comfortable in your own skin. Um, definitely don't try and do everything like me if, if that doesn't make you comfortable. You know, if you feel like you don't like the color under the eye, don't do it under the eye. You're gonna look beautiful regardless of what you do. But I definitely don't want anybody to feel pressured to do everything exactly like me. I want you to be creative and I'd love to see you take my makeup ideas that I put on my face and see what you do with it. You know, whether that's taking out the color under the eye, changing up the colors a little bit, um, using, you know, not expired outdated makeup. <laughs> you can send me stuff like that too. I'd love to see that. Um, I'd love to see what everyone kind of does with their own version of what I'm doing on my face. Um, I love creativity and I love to watch people be creative and make things all on their own. Look at my aim, guys. I look at the computer to make sure that I'm aiming right, but my aim on um, that color is not great. But again, I go up into the brow. This is also where I'm going to go in and say, um, you know, in other videos that I have shown, I usually only put like a lighter white color at my brow, but I did say when I do colors, some of the time I will change it up. This is one of those instances. It is still a lighter color than red. 
Um, I'm taking the orange and I'm putting it up against my brow. Um, it is lighter than red, but and I, if I'm not mistaken, I don't really ever put a dark color up against my eyebrow, um, basically because it makes my eyebrows look way more bushier than I want them to be. So I don't ever highly recommend to put a really, really dark color up by your eyebrow for that reason. Um, again, do you, you, if you can, if you make it look cute, I want to see it and I would like to try it if I can. Um, but every time I do dark colors up on my eyebrow, it turns out to be a big eyebrow, <laughs> not cute. Um, I'm going back in here and just making sure that this all lines up. Probably cleaning a brush at this point. Always be sure to clean your brushes, guys. Um, I'll do my best in my in one of my other videos to show you the pad I use to clean the brushes off. It's a really cool little pad. Um, it gets a lot of the pigmentation of the different colors from the brushes that I'm using out, so it makes it easier for me to move on to other colors. Um, all I'm doing now, right now is going in and pretty much adding more pigmentation, adding more of that red, um, making sure it stands out against that blue because that blue is bright and I love it, but sometimes, you know, your brights have to match. So, gotta make that red a little more prominent against the blue. Okay guys, I'm doing my eyelashes and again, if you have not watched my other videos, I'm going to keep repeating it until I no longer have this thing in my videos because I no longer use it because of how bad it is for your eyelashes. It breaks them, it tears them, it is not good to use on your eyelashes. I don't recommend it. I never will recommend it ever again. Do not use this. Okay, guys, don't use an eyelash curler. I normally don't tell people to do what, do anything, and I don't, any of that. I don't advise to use an eyelash curler. I really don't. Um, especially if you want your eyelashes to be nice and long. I highly don't advise an eyelash curler at all in any circumstance whatsoever. They're damaging. And then you lose eyelashes, and it's not cute. Okay, going in with mascara. Always do my best to try and not hit the lid, so I always go underneath as much as I can. I do look up to the sky and down at the mirror so that I can make sure not to try and hopefully hit my eye. My husband must be home watching something interesting because normally I put on stuff that I have I always watch or music so that I don't get distracted. Sorry. Um, I must be paying attention to something my husband's watching. All right, guys, so I'm going to cut to where both sides are done with mascara because I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to watch me do mascara twice. Pretty straightforward. Just going in and doing the same things I've been doing in my last videos from the very base all the way up to the top of the lash. I'll let myself finish up on this eye and then we'll go ahead and cut over to where that is finished so that y'all can see the full face makeup, which will eventually be cut as well because, you know, it's the same every time. <laughs> I have been contemplating though doing some like um, cute alien makeup or like cute, I don't know, I'm, I, I want to use color to contour and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do first. I think I'm probably going to go alien because alien seems like it's going to be the most, uh, the easiest trail to track down, so to walk down. So I feel like we'll probably do some like alien full face makeup soon. I feel like that'll be fun. Gotta make sure I have enough color for that though, because um little Porito here. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my face, which per usual I am using um 
concealer or my contour liquid concealer. And I've kind of changed up the way I've done my liquid concealer. I don't normally, excuse me, I don't um, any longer go one at a time. I actually started putting it all on my face at once and just buffing it all out. Um, and that seems to work fine. So watching myself do makeup, I've actually started to do a few things differently uh, just to see how it works out for me. And I have been doing some things, so my new videos in the new studio will show that I kind of do it all at once. Excuse me. Didn't mean to yawn there. Sorry, guys. And I've kind of fixed up my contouring um, a little bit more, too. I've done a little more research on my face. Um, kind of looked at the shape a little bit more. I have put on some weight. Um, more than what I've had in you know, a long time. Um, I don't think I've actually been this heavy, so I'm actually relearning how to contour my face to the weight I've gained. 